Hey guys, Mark here, Oregon Greybeard. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool infinity mirror. Whoa! Alright, so the materials and uh, parts list for this build are, are pretty simple. Uh, you'll need some RGB LEDs, uh, about 36 inches. I think these come in uh, 40 inch lengths. You'll need the controller for that, so the USB dongle, and then the buttons on the side to to change the modes. Now you'll also need a four pin extension cable and then they also come with these little butt splices. You'll also need a sharp knife, a pencil, and optional um, some black paint here. You'll need an eight inch mirror. Set that aside. You will need an eight inch square of two-way uh, plexiglass and your eight inch shadow box. Uh, so we will start off with taking the shadow box apart here. Take the back off. We're not going to need that. This is the internal frame. Uh, this one is a, is a thin layer of plastic with foam on the inside. But I'll give you a close-up to that when we start cutting on it. And uh, we'll need to take the glass out. So this is what is uh, this is what we're going to be modifying to make this whole thing work. Essentially what we need to do is cut a relief in the plastic so we have room for this plug so what we're trying to do is get this plug flush with the top of that so the other lights can lay over the top and make it seamless uh, that way you know you don't just have the wire sticking up inside the box because it'll be pretty noticeable so the first thing we need to do is decide where our strip of lights is gonna go. So if we just start it right here. I'm just gonna take my pencil and mark off where the end of the light strip is. And then we're gonna mark off how long the plug is. And then we also need to uh, measure how wide uh, that is. So we're gonna flush the end of the plug to the edge of this uh, internal frame. Now what we're gonna wanna do is cut uh, that line out. So we're going to essentially cut a relief the shape of this plug out in the frame. Alright, so we've got our relief cut out. Alright, All right, so you can see it's sitting, it's sitting flush there and the cord has that little relief to go under. Now the reason that's important is because the frame itself, uh, the main part of the frame, is going to have to be notched to let that cord out. Alright, so now that we have our relief cut, it's time to peel the paper backing off the LEDs and get them uh, stuck to the inside of the frame. I'm going to use the outside edge uh, of this frame as my reference. We'll just be placing the LEDs right against that right against that edge so keeping this where it's at so we don't lose the position I'm just going to pinch the LEDs here pull this up peel back some of the paper so we can get that part stuck in place and now that's stuck there so now we can pinch it on this side lift our LEDs up grab that paper and peel some off and just take your time and make sure that you're sitting right next to the edge. So now you can see the idea is we're going to have the LED just come right over the top of that. We'll cut it right here. That'll be right before uh, the next the next LED there. So uh, this part will be completely covered. All right, so time for the big scissors. We're just going to snip this uh, between those contacts. And we're going to get our plug situated. Then we'll remove the adhesive backing and get it stuck just like that. Alright, so next thing to do 
is actually test it so we can make sure that it works. Uh, so plug this in our little uh, battery pack there and it looks pretty good. So we've confirmed that it works so that's good. So the next step is to figure out which way our two-way mirror goes in. Take something white and place it on the edge. If there's no gap between the object and the reflection, that's the side with the mirrored coating on it. If we flip it over and put the box on it, you can see there's a gap between the reflection and the object. So that's the plexiglass side. So that's the side we're going to want to have facing out. So we're going to drop that in here really quick. And then we're going to take our frame and put that in. And now we want to mark the location of our cable because we're going to have to cut a relief in that. So just take our pencil, mark on either side of it. So what we're going to want to do here is just trim out the wood between those lines and go down uh, maybe to about to about right there. Just the thickness, just the thickness of the cable. All right, and there you go. Now the opt optional step would be to uh, take some paint and just touch that little area up right here. Uh, acrylic paint dries really fast, so you know, paint it, wait a few minutes, and it'd be ready to go. I'm not going to worry about painting this one. Uh, we are actually ready to put this thing together. So we put our frame down. We will take our two-way mirror. We'll double check which side is which. So that's going to go down. Next we're going to take the frame with our LED strip in it and line that up so that our cable is uh, in that little channel. Then we'll take our mirror and drop that in there and bend our little tabs over. Alright, now we can take our cord, plug it into our battery pack here. And there we go. So I hope you like that video. The Infinity Mirror is a fun project. You don't really need a lot of tools to do it. I will uh, put some links down below to where you can buy some of the parts from Amazon. Uh, the two-way mirrored acrylic I got from Tab Plastics. Uh, I drove over there and just had them cut that piece out for me. Uh, but you can order a sheet of it and then just cut it yourself as an option. I look pretty good. Alright, this is Mark from Oregon Greybeard. We'll see you next time.